On September 17, 2023, the Sun moves into Virgo, and the second and final solar eclipse of the year is set for October 14. This eclipse takes place in the Chitra Nakshatra. The Sun will exit Virgo on October 18, 2023, marking the end of this transit. In this video, we will delve into the profound implications of this event for all zodiac signs. Solar eclipses often make people feel like something related to the sun is being obscured or taken away. Since the sun represents aspects like vitality, career, father, and authority, issues related to these areas may arise during a solar eclipse. The effects of the eclipse are also seen in the house where Virgo and Leo fall in your birth chart. K2 can cause confusion in these areas. K2 is headless, imploding dark energy. The sun is one of the luminaries that guides us with light in our path. Obscuring this light may bring confusion and uncertainty in matters related to the sun. Some K2 combinations indicate a period where we decide to let go or separate us from something significant or important for ourselves. Therefore, this upcoming solar eclipse may prompt us to release something related to the house it falls in or is related to. These eclipses can also reveal hidden truths. Furthermore, the houses where the signs Virgo and Leo are located in your chart will be influenced by this eclipse. If Virgo or Leo is your ascendant, sun, or moon sign, you may feel the impact even more intensely. People going through sun or K to Dasha, or relevant planetary periods, may experience the eclipse's effects more strongly. The Chitra Nakshatra in which the eclipse occurs also plays a role, affecting areas strongly if you have planets placed in that nakshatra. The eclipse's effects can be felt around a week before and after the event. It's essential to consider the sun's dignity in your birth chart and its Ashtaka Varga score in Virgo to gain a more comprehensive understanding. Analyzing your personal birth chart is key to understanding the impacts of these transits. If you need help identifying your planetary placements, you can easily generate your personalized Vedic birth chart using the provided link. Eclipse times can often bring challenges in various aspects of life, as discussed earlier. However, the outcomes of these events typically become evident over the next six months. Whether they are favorable or unfavorable depends on the current Dasha period. So, if you're going through a tough time during the current eclipse season, remember that events may unfold and become clear in the following months. With this context in mind, let's delve into the predictions for each zodiac sign during this transit and the subsequent solar eclipse. As the sun transits through Aries' sixth house, Aries sign individuals will find their focus directed towards removing obstacles and challenges that may be blocking their path. This period will see them exhibiting authority and a strong presence in their workplace. They may also encounter obstacles related to legal and government processes, but overall, this is considered a positive transit. The Lord of Education and Creative Skills are transiting through the sixth house, which represents obstacles, diseases, and disputes. It's a favorable time to recover money that may have been lent to others. Additionally, there is a possibility of success in educational pursuits, profits from government-related activities or government jobs as well as gains from long journeys, are indicated. Efforts that were previously abandoned may also be successfully accomplished during this transit. However, this period may also bring some health issues into focus, though it can provide an opportunity for curing long-standing ailments. During the eclipse period, it is essential to exercise caution. There may be a risk of being deceived by people, so it's advisable not to blindly guarantee anything to anyone. Thoughtful decision-making is crucial, particularly concerning employment matters, as there may be a tendency for people to consider leaving their daily jobs during this time. It's best to avoid making significant decisions during the eclipse period. This solar eclipse, being a sun to combination, encourages individuals to let go or release things that are important to them. It involves significations related to the sixth house, such as daily jobs, work life, dealing with competitors, and managing conflicts with enemies. Additionally, as sun rules the fifth house, this could also pertain to matters related to creativity, romance, love affairs, or parenthood. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation can be due to a positive event. It happens for your own good. The results can be seen within the next six months. Overall, the sun's transit through Aries' sixth house signifies a period focused on overcoming obstacles and displaying authority in the workplace. While there may be challenges related to health, this transit offers opportunities for resolution and success in various aspects of life. During the eclipse period, caution is advised, and it's wise to avoid impulsive decisions, especially concerning matters related to the fifth and sixth houses.
For Taurus individuals, the transit of the sun into their fifth house signifies a period where their focus will be directed towards education, children, and creative pursuits. This influence encourages a deep commitment to learning, either for oneself or taking a keen interest in the education of their children. Furthermore, the sun's role as the ruler of Leo, natural fifth house of zodiac, imbues this period with a burst of creativity, making it an ideal time to explore artistic or innovative ventures. However, it's essential to exercise caution, as this transit can also bring about mental restlessness, health concerns, moments of embarrassment, and even accidents. The increased sexual urge may not always find fulfillment, and interactions with government entities might be challenging. Additionally, support from relatives may be lacking, leading to financial difficulties and potential disputes with friends. During this transit, some Taurus individuals may discover an inclination towards trading related to real estate and assets as the fourth lord transiting the fifth house of speculative gains. As the sun's aspect is on eleventh house, it's important to be mindful of how their authoritative approach may affect their social network and relationships with elder siblings. Ego clashes and a dominant behavior could deter others from engaging in business dealings or partnerships. The second solar eclipse of the year has the potential to impact Taurus individuals by weakening their financial situation and potentially leading to monetary losses. To navigate this period tactfully, it's advisable to exercise restraint in speech and remain vigilant about mood swings and indecisiveness. As the eclipses of the sun to combination, it encourages letting go of things that hold personal significance and important to yourself. Mainly, the fifth house, involving matters related to creativity, romance, love affairs, or parenthood. Given that the sun rules the fourth house for Taurus, this eclipse could also influence matters pertaining to family matters, home life, and relationships with the mother. Changes in the home environment may occur as a result. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation can be due to a positive event. It happens for your own good, the results can be seen within the next six months. Overall, the transit of the sun through the fifth house for Taurus individuals brings a dynamic mix of educational pursuits, creativity, and potential challenges. While it fosters a strong desire for learning and creative expression, it also comes with the risk of restlessness, health issues, and difficulties in various aspects of life. The solar eclipse further adds an element of unpredictability and calls for a cautious and patient approach, especially concerning finances and personal relationships. During this period, Taurus individuals should tread carefully, making informed decisions and being prepared for potential changes and challenges in their lives. For Gemini individuals, the sun's transit through the fourth house signifies a period where your focus will be predominantly on matters related to your home and family life. You may find yourself taking on a more authoritative role within your household, potentially making important decisions regarding real estate matters or taking care of your mother. It's worth noting that the sun transiting in the fourth house diminishes its directional strength. This solar transit comes with certain challenges. The sun's aspect on the tenth house indicates that you may assert your authority in your work and career, which could potentially strain relations with your father, boss, or colleagues. This period may also bring about health issues, consistent challenges from adversaries, a lack of peace of mind, and pressure from creditors. Domestic life may become troublesome, and circumstances could even force you to consider staying away from your home. Additionally, decision-making may become more complicated, and female family members could face health concerns, impacting conjugal happiness. Physical ailments, including fevers, may also surface during this time. The second solar eclipse of the year, occurring in the fourth house, reinforces the need for caution and careful consideration. It's advisable not to make any major decisions during this period. As it is a K-to-Sun eclipse, it encourages you to let go of or separate from things that hold personal importance, specifically related to the houses that the Sun affects. For Gemini individuals, this relates to both the third and fourth houses. You need to check the natal position of the Sun also. The third house signifies communication, short trips, opportunities for self-expression, relationships with younger siblings, social media engagement, and courage. The fourth house is associated with family matters, home life, and the role of the mother, potentially indicating changes in your living situation. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Overall, the sun's transit through the fourth house for Gemini individuals brings a heightened focus on domestic and family-related matters. While this can provide an opportunity for you to assert your authority and make necessary decisions, it also comes with its share of challenges, including potential health issues and strains in your professional and domestic relationships. 
The solar eclipse serves as a reminder to exercise caution and patience during this period, as it may bring unforeseen changes and events. Gemini individuals should strive to maintain balance and prioritize self-care during this time, especially concerning their home and family life. For Cancer Sign individuals, the Sun's transit through the third house brings emphasis on communication and expression. During this period, you are likely to adopt a more authoritative style of communication, exuding confidence in your interactions. Your thirst for knowledge and information will be heightened, making you eager to gather and exchange ideas. This influence encourages communication with siblings and neighbors, potentially leading you toward roles in counseling or teaching others. It's worth noting that this is a generally favorable transit, with potential for positive outcomes in health and wealth. This benefic transit can bring about a sense of happiness and relief from ailments. You may garner recognition from superiors, receive honors, and find yourself filled with courage and confidence. In your personal life, you'll enjoy quality time with your loved ones, resolving conflicts, and winning arguments with ease. Career-wise, promotions may be on the horizon, and you could even have the opportunity to choose favorable work transfers. Expect an increase in your financial inflow during this period. However, it's essential to be aware of becoming overly authoritative in your communication style. Because of Sun's aspect on the ninth house, this authoritative approach can extend to your dealings with higher education and teachers, leading to ego conflicts as you may feel you know better than your instructors. It's advisable to exercise caution and maintain a respectful attitude, as such ego battles may hinder your learning and growth. The last solar eclipse of the year, occurring in the third house for cancer individuals, carries a reminder to proceed with caution and avoid making hasty decisions during this period. As it is a K-to-Sun eclipse, it encourages you to let go or separate you from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the Sun governs and transit. For cancer individuals, this pertains to both the second and third houses. The second house which Sun rules deals with financial matters, family dynamics, personal values, and self-worth, chances of indicating shifts in income. If your current Dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Thus, it's vital to consider the broader context of your natal chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. Overall, the sun's transit through the third house for cancer individuals amplifies your communicative prowess and knowledge-seeking nature. This is a generally auspicious period that can bring about positive developments in various aspects of life, including health, relationships, and career. However, the potential for excessive assertiveness in your communication style should be kept in check. The solar eclipse serves as a reminder to approach this time with caution and to be prepared for transformative changes, particularly in areas related to communication, education, and financial matters. As the sun transits to Leo's second house, the focus shifts towards matters concerning family and wealth. During this period, individuals born under the Leo sign may find themselves adopting an authoritative and assertive style of communication, particularly within their family dynamics. The focus intensifies on their financial well-being, and they become vigilant about ensuring they are earning enough to support their loved ones. However, this positioning of the sun also suggests increased expenses and potential financial worries, making it essential for Leo individuals to manage their finances diligently. This transit indicates a heightened awareness of family responsibilities and a commitment to accumulating wealth through their own efforts. Leo individuals may become analytical in assessing their family's needs and may assume an authoritative role within the household. This authoritative approach extends to interactions with in-laws and others due to the sun's aspect on the eighth house. It can create tension and conflicts, especially with in-laws, and also leading to difficulties and health issues. The last solar eclipse of the year occurring in Leo's second house serves as a reminder to proceed with caution and avoid making significant decisions during this period. As it is a K-to-sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate us from things that hold personal importance related to the houses that the sun rules in transit. For Leo individuals, this pertains to both the first and second houses. The first house is yourself, personality, overall health, life path, etc. If your current Dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Thus, it's vital to consider the broader context of your natal chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The effects of the eclipse can also be influenced the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. It's important to note that solar eclipses are generally considered less auspicious for Leo individuals. Financial prospects may be affected, leading to possible expenses. Therefore, 
It is advisable to exercise caution and refrain from making significant financial investments during this period. Overall, the sun's transit through Leo's second house highlights the importance of family and wealth matters. While it encourages a responsible and authoritative approach towards these aspects of life, it also brings financial concerns and potential conflicts within family dynamics. The solar eclipse further underscores the need for careful consideration and avoidance of major decisions, particularly in financial matters. Leo individuals should focus on managing their finances wisely and maintaining harmonious relationships with family members during this potentially challenging period. As the sun traverses through the first house for Virgo individuals, the focus turns inward, directing attention toward one's own self, health, and physical well-being. This transit encourages a heightened awareness of one's life path and its trajectory, prompting individuals to assess their overall health and lifestyle choices. Neglected health issues may come to the forefront during this period, making it crucial to address them promptly. The positioning of the sun in the ascendant can also cast an aura of attraction and fleeting fame as all eyes are naturally drawn to the sun. However, this transit may also bring health concerns, obstacles, and aimless journeys. Potential ailments may include eye issues, head-related problems, heat-related illnesses, and stomach disorders. It is advisable to steer clear of confrontations and maintain a calm disposition during this phase. This transit of the sun can make a person attain authority and position, particularly if they are involved in work related to foreign lands or foreign companies as the 12th house lord transiting first house. Virgo individuals often exhibit analytical and perfectionist traits. Sun being here can magnify those traits and sun's aspect on the 7th house can lead to the same authoritative and egoistic approach being extended to their partners and spouse, potentially straining relationships. While some may accept this ego, it can adversely affect personal connections and harmony in partnerships. The final solar eclipse of the year taking place in Virgo's first house serves as a reminder to exercise caution and refrain from making major decisions during this period. Being a K to Sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate us from things that hold personal significance or important yourself, particularly related to the houses that the Sun govern and transit. For Virgo individuals, this pertains to both the twelfth and first houses. The twelfth house is associated with spiritual and subconscious matters suggesting a period of introspection and self-exploration. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Thus, it's vital to consider the broader context of your natal chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The effects of the eclipse can also be influenced the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. It's important to note that this eclipse may bring challenging outcomes for Virgo individuals. Friends may inadvertently cause financial and mental disturbances during this period, so it's crucial to exercise caution and maintain strong boundaries. The presence of Ascendant Lord Mercury being in Virgo during the eclipse may offer some mitigation of the eclipse's negative aspects, but it remains advisable to tread carefully. Overall, the Sun's transit through the first house for Virgo individuals prompts introspection and self-focus, particularly on health and life path. While it can bring fleeting fame and recognition, it also carries potential health issues and obstacles. The solar eclipse reinforces the need for caution, especially in personal relationships, and encourages a period of self-reflection and exploration. Virgo individuals should prioritize self-care, both physically and mentally, during this potentially transformative period. As the sun transits through Libra's 12th house, there is a noticeable shift in focus towards spiritual pursuits, foreign travels, and charitable activities. This period may prompt a strong inclination to explore foreign or spiritual destinations, leading some individuals to embark on journeys to such places. However, it's crucial to note that if the sun is in a malefic position in the birth chart, it may signal potential health issues during this time, necessitating extra care and attention to one's well-being. The sun's transit through the 12th house from Libra suggests the potential for sorrow, loss of authority, and challenges related to health. Physical injuries, the desire to leave or move away from home, unwanted expenditures, potential harm to one's father, heat-related illnesses, enmity, fever, and work-related setbacks are among the possible outcomes during this transit. On the positive side, this placement can also indicate the potential for acquiring authority and position when working in foreign lands or for foreign companies. However, the sun's aspect on the sixth house may lead to the projection of the same authoritative and egoistic demeanor towards colleagues, potentially creating the impression of an egotistical individual in the workplace. The last solar eclipse of the year occurring in Libra's 12th house underscores the importance of exercising caution 
and refraining from making major decisions during this period. Being a K-to-Sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate us from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the Sun governs. For Libra individuals, this pertains to both the 11th and 12th houses. The 11th house is associated with social connections, networking opportunities, and elder siblings, while the 12th house relates to spiritual and subconscious matters, inviting a period of introspection. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Thus, it's vital to consider the broader context of your birth chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The effects of the eclipse can also be influenced the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's birth chart. It is important to be mindful that this period may have a challenging impact on the mental state of Libra individuals, potentially leading to increased stress and emotional vulnerability. Mental conditions can lead to arguments that result in financial and physical losses. Therefore, it is advisable to prioritize self-care, emotional well-being, and stress management during this potentially tumultuous period. Overall, the sun's transit through Libra's 12th house encourages exploration of spirituality, foreign travel, and charitable activities. While it may bring opportunities for growth and self-discovery, it also carries the potential for challenges related to health, authority, and work setbacks. The solar eclipse reinforces the need for caution and introspection, particularly in the realm of mental health and emotional resilience. Libra individuals should approach this period with self-compassion and mindfulness to navigate its potential difficulties. As the sun transits Scorpio's 11th house, the focus for individuals born under this sign shifts towards social networks, career advancement, and gains. This period encourages Scorpio individuals to actively engage in their professional networks and communication circles. It opens doors for them to receive recognition and rewards for their hard work. Additionally, elder siblings may play a supportive role in their career or financial endeavors. The transit of the sun through the 11th house is generally considered highly auspicious, promising honor, health, wealth, and success. During this benefic transit, Scorpio individuals may experience income from various sources, the dissolution of enemies or obstacles, opportunities for charitable acts and altruism, family happiness, government-related benefits, promotions in their careers, increased dignity, and the possibility of auspicious events at home. Furthermore, improvements in health can be expected as a result of this positive alignment. However, it's important to note that the sun's aspect on the fifth house may bring about some mental worries. This aspect can influence creative pursuits, education, and relationships with loved ones. While Scorpio individuals may benefit professionally and financially, their personal relationships and creative pursuits may face challenges due to the ego development associated with gains and recognition. The final solar eclipse of the year occurring in Scorpio's 11th house reinforces the importance of exercising caution and refraining from making significant decisions during this period. Being a K-to-Sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate us from things that hold personal significance, especially related to the houses that the Sun governs. For Scorpio individuals, this pertains to both the 10th and 11th houses. The 10th house relates to career and public image, suggesting that changes in profession or recognition may be significant during this time. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. Thus, it's vital to consider the broader context of your birth chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The impact of the eclipse can also be influenced by the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. Overall, the sun's transit through Scorpio's 11th house brings opportunities for career gains, recognition, and contributions to humanitarian causes. While it promises success and prosperity, it may also introduce some mental worries and challenges in personal relationships. The solar eclipse reinforces the need for caution, particularly in network circle and career-related matters, and encourages Scorpio individuals to let go of personal attachments to navigate potential changes with grace and wisdom. As the sun transits through Sagittarius' 10th house, the focus for individuals born under this sign is firmly set on their careers. This is a career-oriented transit, and individuals will be deeply interested in their reputation and recognition in society. They will assess how they can enhance their standing in this aspect of life, and their attention will naturally turn toward their fathers and figures of authority. This period is ripe for career advancement and achieving one's desires and plans. Success in education, acquiring new vehicles, enhancing earning capacity, receiving assistance from government authorities, and gaining support from friends are all expected during this time. 
The sun's transit as the ninth lord through the tenth house indicates that they command respect in their professional sphere due to their authority in matters related to higher education. Sagittarius individuals may find themselves utilizing their higher education and knowledge in careers related to analysis and detail-oriented work. If the sun is well-placed in the birth chart, it suggests that they possess good authority and benefit from their work and relationships with superiors. However, the sun's aspect on the fourth house may bring challenges in personal life, possibly resulting in a loss of comfort at home. Despite this, they continue to wield authority at home, thanks to their achievements and recognition at work. The final solar eclipse of the year taking place in Sagittarius' 10th house serves as a reminder to exercise caution and avoid making major decisions during this period. Being a K to Sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the Sun govern and transit. For Sagittarius individuals, this pertains to both the 9th and 10th houses. The 9th house relates to religion, law, faith, fortune, and teachings from father figures, emphasizing a period of introspection and reevaluation of beliefs. If your current Dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. It's vital to consider the broader context of your birth chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The impact of the eclipse can also be influenced by the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. Overall, the sun's transit through Sagittarius' 10th house places a strong emphasis on career matters, reputation, and authority. This period is favorable for career advancement and success in various professional endeavors. While it may bring challenges to personal life, it reinforces one's authority at home due to achievements at work. The solar eclipse underscores the need for caution, particularly in matters related to faith and profession, and encourages Sagittarius individuals to let go of personal attachments to navigate potential changes in their career with wisdom and grace. As the sun transit in Capricorn's ninth house, individuals born under this sign will experience a shift in focus towards religion, law, faith, fortune, gurus, travel, and cultural exploration. This transit encourages a strong inclination towards learning and communicating about different cultures and religions. In this context, authority takes the form of a guru or authoritative teacher. While it presents opportunities for growth and enlightenment, it can also introduce challenges such as danger, dependency, disappointment, and separation. During this period, misunderstandings with parents, health issues for mentors or teachers, obstacles in various undertakings, accidents, increased expenses, failures at work, and confrontations with superiors may emerge as potential outcomes of this transit. The 8th Lord Sun's transiting in 9th House Virgo suggests a keen interest in higher learning related to occult sciences, mysticism, and secrecy. It indicates that individuals may experience shifts in their beliefs, potentially driven by sudden events or encounters with the guru-like figures. However, as we mentioned this can also lead to ego clashes with teachers and mentors, as individuals may feel that their knowledge surpasses that of their guides. Additionally, the authoritative communication style that emerges during this period may strain relations with siblings and cousins due to Sun's aspect on third house. The final solar eclipse of the year taking place in Capricorn's ninth house serves as a reminder to exercise caution and refrain from making significant decisions during this period. Being a K to Sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate you from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the Sun govern and transit. For Capricorn individuals, this pertains to both the 8th and 9th houses. The 8th house is associated with secrecy, occult knowledge, transformations, and shared wealth with a spouse, inviting a period of introspection and potential changes in these areas. If your current Dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation is for your own good. It's vital to consider the broader context of your birth chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The impact of the eclipse can also be influenced by the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. Overall, the sun's transit through Capricorn's ninth house highlights a period of higher education, cultural exploration, and potential encounters with authoritative teachers or gurus. While it offers opportunities for learning and growth, it may also bring challenges such as misunderstandings, confrontations, and financial burdens. The solar eclipse underscores the need for caution, particularly in matters related to faith and transformation, and encourages Capricorn individuals to let go of personal attachments to navigate potential changes with wisdom and grace. As the sun transits through Aquarius' eighth house, individuals born under this sign may find themselves drawn to themes related to change, transformation, and occult and hidden matters. This period could prompt an inclination toward research in areas such as the occult. 
This transit may bring about sudden events, its ultimate impact and severity depends on various factors. Health should be a priority during this time, as the 8th house is associated with potential health concerns. The transit of the sun through the 8th house can result in challenges such as quarrels with friends, health issues, high blood pressure, obstacles in various undertakings, fear, ailments related to the head, periods of staying away from home, eye problems, financial difficulties, displeasure with government matters, and heat-related ailments. Additionally, as the 7th Lord transiting 8th house, this transit may bring transformations in matters related to relationships or business, as the 8th house signifies profound changes. However, individuals can develop confidence by successfully navigating and adapting to these changes. The sun's aspect on the second house suggests that, as individuals deal with the sudden events and transformations of the eighth house, they may gain recognition, respect and authority within their families. The final solar eclipse of the year occurring in Aquarius eighth house underscores the need for caution and restraint in making important decisions during this period. Being a key to sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate you from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the sun govern and transit. For Aquarius individuals, this pertains to both the 7th and 8th houses. The 7th house relates to relationships and partnerships, highlighting potential changes and transformations in these areas. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation might be some positive event like selling your business for a good fortune or getting divorced from an unhealthy marriage, it happens for your own good. It's vital to consider the broader context of your birth chart to fully understand the eclipse's impact. The impact of the eclipse can also be influenced by the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. Overall, the sun's transit through Aquarius' eighth house prompts a focus on change, transformation, and the exploration of hidden or occult matters. While this period may bring sudden events and challenges, it also offers opportunities for personal growth and development. The solar eclipse emphasizes the importance of letting go and adapting to change, particularly in matters of relationships and partnerships, and encourages Aquarius individuals to navigate this transformative period with wisdom and resilience. As the sun transits through Pisces' seventh house, individuals born under this sign will find their focus shifting toward relationships or business matters. They will take a closer look at the state of their relationships and their ability to care for their partners. If necessary, they may take steps to address any issues or concerns in their relationships. For those engaged in business, this period may involve a renewed focus on their enterprises or the possibility of starting a new business venture. Authority and leadership will be displayed in the context of relationships or business affairs. However, the transit of the sun through the seventh house can bring its share of challenges. This period may involve wearisome traveling, colic and anal troubles, humiliation and sickness. There may be misunderstandings or conflicts with a spouse or partner, obstacles in various undertakings, stomach ailments, digestive problems, issues related to blood discharge, and a potential loss of prestige or business setbacks. The fact that the sun is the ruler of Pisces' sixth house suggests that disputes and conflicts may arise in marriage or relationships during this transit. Individuals may become highly perfectionist and analytical, which can lead to conflicts and ego battles with their spouse. While other people may still acknowledge their authority, relations may suffer. The sun's aspect on the ascendant can contribute to physical weariness and potential health issues. The final solar eclipse of the year occurring in Pisces' seventh house underscores the need for caution and restraint in making important decisions during this period. As a key to sun eclipse, it encourages individuals to let go or separate from things that hold personal significance, particularly related to the houses that the sun govern and transit. For Pisces individuals, this pertains to both the 6th and 7th houses. The 6th house represents matters like diseases, debts, obstacles, enemies, disputes, litigation, daily routine, and colleagues at the workplace. If your current dasha period is beneficial, then letting go or separation might be some positive event like quitting your current job for join or start a new venture, or getting divorced from an unhealthy marriage, it happens for your own good. The impact of the eclipse can also be influenced by the specific house where the sun is placed in an individual's natal chart. Overall, the sun's transit through Pisces' seventh house prompts a focus on relationships and business matters. While this period may bring challenges and conflicts, it also offers opportunities for growth and resolution. The solar eclipse emphasizes the importance of letting go and adapting to changes, particularly in matters of relationships and partnerships, and encourages Pisces individuals to navigate this period with wisdom and patience. Thanks for tuning into this video about the upcoming sun transit and solar eclipse in Virgo. 
It's essential to understand how these events might impact your life. If you want to delve deeper and get personalized insights based on your birth chart, be sure to click the link in the description to generate your own Vedic birth chart. Remember, eclipse seasons can be challenging, but positive outcomes often follow. So, if you're facing difficulties during this period, don't lose hope. Better times may be just around the corner. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology and Vedic insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.